The wait is over. Let's combine Windows 11, the cloud, and Azure Virtual Desktop. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Now, there have been a ton of videos burning through the interwebs on Windows 11 and hardware requirements. And we're going to need to use those in Azure as well, and that means we need Gen 2 VMs along with a TPM chip running Secure Boot. And this was all covered in a new preview feature called Trusted Launch, and we went over the basics of that in my last video, which you should watch before you continue. Go ahead, I'll wait. All caught up? Cool. Now, if this is your second or third time that you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, that's the universe telling you you need to click the subscribe button. Let's get into this. We're gonna build a Windows 11 virtual machine in Azure Virtual Desktop, and I already have a host pool set aside for Windows VM session hosts. So click up top and generate yourself a new registration key and save that over to your notepad because we'll need it in a minute. Then go to your session host on the left and click the add button at the top. Click next on the first screen, and let's go right over there and select See All Images, and then search for Windows 11. Scroll down just a little bit, and there they all are. Notice that they're all marked with Preview, because Windows 11 is not officially released yet, but we're gonna go all the way today and select Windows 11 Multi-Session plus Microsoft 365 Apps, which will give us all of those Office and Teams with AV Redirection baked right in. Oh, uh... We've got a problem. Now, this is not really a problem with the location, but rather you can't build Windows 11 through the AVD portal yet. Now, we've got a few methods we can do to get this working today. First thing we could do is just deploy a normal Windows 11 VM. Now, to do that with Trusted Launch, like we covered in my previous video, you're gonna need this special link to get to a preview version of the Azure portal. Now, there are certain images that are allowed for Trusted Launch, and technically Windows 11 is not on the list. And that's not really a big shock because it's not officially released yet. But if you go through this process, it'll work, trust me. So go ahead and select your Windows 11 image. I'll just pick Windows 11 Enterprise for this. When you get over to the advanced screen, scroll down to the bottom, make sure that you have a Gen 2 VM selected, and then go ahead and check the box for Trusted Launch, and then check the following boxes for Secure Boot and VTPM. Complete the rest of your build as normal, and then inside the OS, once it boots up, download the agents, install them with your registry token that we generated earlier, and you are good to go. Just repeat that for all of your session hosts, which does sound like a lot of work, so we can automate this a little more if we just add a custom script extension. So let's walk through the build again. This time we'll select Windows 11 multi-session, and then on the advanced screen at the bottom, be sure that you check Gen 2 and Secure Boot, VTPM and all that stuff. And then scroll back up to the top of the advanced screen and you wanna to select to add an extension. Scroll down and find the custom script extension, then hit the add at the bottom. Now the link for the PowerShell script we're gonna give it is in the video description below that takes you out to my GitHub and you can follow the directions right here with me. Go ahead and hit the Browse button and then select whichever storage account you want to use. Inside there, if you don't have a container already, you'll need to create one, but I've got one already called Extensions, but you can call it anything you like. Inside there, click the Upload button and then over here, you wanna click the blue folder and that'll give you this file dialog. Just paste in the link to the PowerShell script that's in the video description and then click the Upload button. And there you go, the script is loaded right over there. Go ahead and select it and then hit the button at the bottom. And now we need to give it the arguments. These are those input parameters. And in this case, there are two of them. The first one is dash profile path, and then that'll be your SMB share where FSLogix goes. And then after that, you put a space dash registration token, and then you paste the registration token that you saved to your notepad earlier. Let the rest of the build continue as normal and then your VM will be built and automatically joined to your host pool. Let's take this to the next level. And I've already done all of the work for you and made everything super easy. So I've got a link in the video description that'll take you here to my GitHub page. And I've got an easy button there for you. Go ahead and click that and you'll be deploying Windows 11 for virtual desktop. And this template will allow you to build up to 100 Windows 11 session hosts at the same time. 
Just fill it out and at the bottom here, make sure you put in your file share where FSLogix profiles will be stored and then paste in your registration key that you saved earlier to your notepad. Then go ahead and hit build. And in just a few minutes, that'll be done and you can pull up your virtual desktop client, sign right in and there you go, Windows 11 session host deployed for Azure Virtual Desktop so that you can start testing with nothing else required right now. Now, if you have any suggestions on how we can improve this template or ideas for new video topics, please comment down below and share those with me. And if you wanna see more on Windows 11 in Azure, please help this video get to 5,000 views by sharing it with your friends and colleagues on social media. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Happy learning.